Hey, what's up, guys? This is Harris, and this is my full review of the Z Tylus or Z Tylus or something along those lines revolving case for an iPhone 5 and 5S. Now, this is essentially a case with interchangeable lenses for your iPhone uh, as long as you get the revolving accessory pack. And this really adds a ton of functionality for anybody that takes iPhone shooting pictures and videos seriously. So, there are two pieces to this kit. Of course, we have the case itself, and inside the packaging with that, we get the case, we get instruction manual, we get some stickers, and then we get a headphone jack extender cable. And in the interchangeable lens box, we have the uh, lens attachment itself. We also get a round microfiber cleaning cloth, some instruction manuals, and then we get a little carrying pouch to keep it safe when you're not using this portion. Now, really, the core functionality of this would have to be a case itself. And to put the phone on the case or in the case, you unscrew a little screw on the bottom, you take off the bottom piece, and then once you have that off, you just slide in your phone just like a regular slider case. When you have it in, which is very easy to do, you put on the bottom portion, screw the little screw back in, and you are done. It is very simple, very easy, and it feels very secure once you have it on. Now right before we take a look at its camera features, we're just going to go ahead and take a look around the case. So taking a look at it, you can see that it is very high quality. It's got aluminum and plastic, and the plastic feels really nice in the hand. It's got a really cool dimple design. Now this is kind of rectangular. It's kind of rectangular prism, so it's kind of squared off and makes the phone a lot boxier, thicker, wider, and taller, but it really wasn't a huge issue to me. Now, on the left side of the case, you do have good cutouts for the volume buttons and your mute vibrate switch. Uh, now, unfortunately, when you are taking a picture and you want to use one of the buttons uh, to shutter release, it is a little bit harder. Now, I still have a nice cutout or a covering for your power button, which is very easy to press. And then on the bottom, you have cutouts for your headphone jack, your speaker, and your lightning port covered by a little metal hinge. Now, unfortunately, if you have any headphones that are in any way bigger than Apple's EarPods, the ones that come with your phone, they will not fit and you will have to use the extender. Now, when you take this case out of the box, pre-installed will be the stand. Now, the stand is just the basically like the lens attachment, except it's the stand attachment, and to use it, you just pulled out the stand. It's a nice feature, and to take it out, you can really do it one-handed because it's that easy. You just pinch the little prong there, and then twist, and it comes right out. Now, to install the lens attachment, you just get the attachment. You find the end with the button. You press down, hold it on the very bottom, and twist it in just like a camera lens on a DSLR. So now you can finally get an idea of what the lens attachment looks like. Basically, it's a Nokia Lumia 1020. Uh, kind of joking there, but almost literally the 1020 is a thick phone with the big hump for the camera, and you see it looks similar to that. Now this has a nice grip on the sides due to that dot design, and it feels really comfortable, and even with the big hump on the back, I still found it wasn't too bad to carry around. Now to operate this lens kit, it is very easy. You just twist around the body itself, and when you find the lens that you want, make sure it just clicks a little bit when you turn it, and then you can just pull it out very simply. Put it over the lens of your camera and snap it in very simply. Now there are three lenses in this kit. We get a CPL, a fisheye, and then we get the wide angle and the macro, which are my two favorite lenses. So we're going to start with my least favorite and work up to my favorite. So starting with CPL, then fisheye, and then wide angle and macro. So let's go ahead and get started with CPL. Now CPL does a few things. Now really it's just main feature would be to uh, prevent light from kind of overpowering your pictures. It helps restore the accurate colors, helps the saturation, the white balance, and really just tries to get rid of reflections and glares, and this does a great job. Now next is the fisheye lens. Now fisheye is pretty well known. It basically puts a bubble effect over the image to get a more wide angle, but also distorts the image as you can very clearly see. Also is great for getting more in the shots, both laterally and horizontally. Uh, it's a really good way if you want to get some really cool shots, get some cool effects, but also some cool distortion. So you can go ahead and look at some of these images. Fish eye lens off. Fish eye lens on. Up next, we're going to take a look at the wide-angle lens. 
Now the wide angle essentially just gives you more in the shot uh, horizontally, but you will see at the edges it is a bit blurred and distorted, which is a bit unfortunate, but in the center it is very sharp. But just by the stretching it out basically it does add some blur to the very edges, so take a look for yourself. Now up next is macro. Now macro you use by uh, taking the widescreen and screwing off the black cap and this allows you to get super super close and detailed shots that really blurs out the background. Now this is kind of hard to focus because you have to be almost touching the subject and it does kind of get distorted at, at times but it's a super cool effect and you'll see some shots later that I really like this. So I really hope you enjoyed watching those examples. I really love the macro, especially you could see the pollen on the bee, which is awesome. I almost got stung too. Uh, and I hope you are still watching, of course, if you're hearing this, and that you enjoyed this video. This is really an awesome accessory for an iPhone that takes it to the next level. If you're even an amateur, a noob, or if you're a professional photographer that uses their iPhone a lot, uh, anywhere in between there is also awesome for an accessory like this. And it's a bit pricey, yes, but you can check the link in the description to get this. And I would 100% recommend it. It's an awesome accessory for any iPhone photography lovers.